Okay, we are calling the meeting to order. Um, and so first we're gonna start with comments from the public on closed session um, items. I will read our policy again. Um, <laughs> Under government code section 54954.3, members of the public have the right to address the governing board on any items of interest, providing it relates to the subject matter jurisdiction of the school district. While government code allows speakers to criticize the district's policies, procedures, program services, and or employees, the district does have a policy specific to complaints against employees. Should comments from the public pertain to a specific district employee, the board requests that the complaint first be submitted in writing to the employee's immediate supervisor for investigation. If the comment is about something that is not on the agenda, it will, only, it will be heard only during the public comment or non-agendized items period. Once that part of the meeting is over, comments will only be taken on agenda items during the discussion of those items. The board values public comments, and although we cannot take I we cannot take action or discuss items on the agenda. We listen carefully and appreciate input from the public. Public comments are subject to a four minute per person limit or 20 minute limit per subject matter. So we will open the chat, put your first and last name and what topic you would like to speak towards. But this is just for a closed session at this point. So Dave, go ahead and open the chat. Okay, the chat's open. <clears throat> then you can close the chat. I see we have a comment. I think that's related to the action, um, the action item. So, okay. Um, Sumaya, your comment will come um, later. It's item six. After we reconvene, after we reconvene. So, are there any other comments for the closed session? Okay, and with that, we are going to adjourn to closed session. Okay, looks like we're all back, except Ellen is absent. Um, so we're gonna reconvene the meeting. So um, up next, we have adoption and approval of the agenda. Can I get a motion? Of the agenda. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so we have an action Aye. item. We're going to hear comments from the public on that action item. Um, and that is about school reopening phase two and three. Do you want us to, do you want to do the public Let's comment? Talk Let's talk about the item initially, and then we'll hear uh, comments from the public. Okay. So, um, looking at seven, <clears throat> looking at seven point one, um, the school reopening phase two and three, and three plan. What we've got listed here is that we started this whole process on April nineteenth, um, and our average attendance has been fairly fairly low. Um, we want to move into the next phase of of the um, of bringing students back. Um, what we would recommend as a motion, as an as a um, amendment to that, is that um, we're looking at five sets of, of students uh, that are critical for us. One is our current students that are already in in person instruction. We call that Team One and Team Two. The second is our alternative education students. That's our students that attend San Antonio. That's our students that attend Carpe Diem. And that's our students that attend Sonoma Mountain. Our English learner students are our third set of students. Our fourth set of students are our students with disabilities. And our fifth set of students are our, our seniors that would, would, that, um, would wish to attend four days a week of instruction. 
we know that Wednesdays are not changing. So when we say four days, that means that they're attending Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So those five groups, all TED, current kids that are coming in to in-person, uh, students with disabilities, English learners, and those um, seniors that said they were interested in that. And we're gonna make, we'll make the recommendation, um, let me pull my calendar up right here, that um, those students would be returning on Thursday. And Thursday, I believe is the 14th or 13th. 13th, I'm sorry, Thursday the 13th, that all of those students that have expressed interest in that, that group would be allowed to return. We believe that we can easily accommodate that. We believe that we're, we're well under our health and safety guidelines numbers um, and that we've, mit done, we've put together all of the necessary mitigation strategies to do that. We would, um, um, we would be communicating this out with our students um, um, immediately so that the families had you know, enough time to make any and staff any arrangements to be able to serve those students' needs. So that, that's a little bit different that's what, than what's in the, in the um, under 7.1.1. So that would be the modification. Um, that, that's the recommendation that we'll make at this time. So you're talking about instead of May 10th, it being May 14th, so um, parents and staff and everyone has time to adjust to the four yes. days a week. The 13th, May 13th. I'm sorry, the 13th. May 13th. Oh, the 14th in my head. May 13th, because I said it. I think okay, I, sorry. I, I um, and so this includes the all ed sites as well, or are they coming back May 10th? Are we proposing? We're proposing that for all of the sites. Okay. Um, anything else to add before I move into public comments? Or should we hear public comments and then discuss further possibly? Yeah. Okay. Well, well so, you may not oh, even get it. You may, you, well, you probably need to have a motion because it may not even be an item. Oh, motion. I'm sorry. Move to amend the um, item 7.1.1. Can I get a motion? I move to amend item 7.1.1. Uh, to replace the clause beginning Monday, May 10th to Thursday, May 13th. Do we have a second? A second. Okay. Um, all right, all in favor? Well, no, wait, you'll open oh, it up for public. Sorry, comment. it's Saturday. Um, all right, so we are gonna, I've already read the, um, the public comment policy. I'm not going to read it again. So um, we're going to open up the chat. Um, please put your first and last name. And this is the only item that we'll be hearing about at this point. So um, yeah, just go ahead and put your first and last name in the chat. And then Gary, go ahead and decide when you want to close it. Dave, are you opening up chat? Yes, chat is it's open. open. People, people are posting. Okay, let's close the chat. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. So um, if you give everybody approximately two and a, two and a half minutes for on this item, do you want, how would you like, would you like Dave to be the timekeeper 
for that? Um, it's fine. I can be the timekeeper. Okay. All right. So we are going to start with Sandy Sullivan. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm really glad I got onto this meeting. I didn't realize it was happening until about 10 minutes ago. I just sent you all an email. Um, I had heard rumors that some of the high school teachers were resisting the four day a week and that had me very concerned. I just wanna to reiterate to you all how wonderful it has been for my daughter to be in person, <coughs> excuse me, and how much easier she is stating it is to learn, especially for math. Going back to two days a week, she would be back on distance learning in math and it would be detrimental. So um, I'm hoping that that is not a consideration. And right now you're only talking about um, whether we start on Monday or Thursday. Um, to me, I don't see any reason why we can't go ahead and start on Monday. Kids are already coming in on Monday. And if people need a couple of days to make the adjustment, it's just the parents. It's not really the teachers. They're already there teaching the same amount of classes. It just uh, is the amount of kids coming in. I really appreciate you guys getting them back. It is huge for their mental well-being and their learning. And being in person, any amount of days extra is going to give them much better learning. And that's what we're all here for. Thank you. Okay, next up we have Will Sober. Will, you can go ahead and start your comment. We can't hear you. Will? trying to get in there. You're there. Can you, can you hear me now? Yep, yep. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I, I won't, I'll be quick. I won't even use my two and a half minutes. Um, I just wanted to thank everybody for closely monitoring the return to in-person learning um, and especially the moms in this meeting today for giving up part of your Mother's Day weekend to show your attention to the students that are really enjoying getting back on campus and giving them an opportunity before the end of the school year to spend two extra days per week in the classroom. Thank you all for that. Um, I did wanna echo Sandy's comment as well that I, I would think that Monday is a reasonable day to go back because there's already in-person learning on Monday, but um, I'm not gonna waste anybody's time arguing over two days. I'm really pleased to see the group come together this weekend for this opportunity. So thank you all very much. And to the moms, enjoy your Mother's Day. All right, next comment, um, sorry, next speaker is Sandra Larson. Can you hear me? I first I wanna thank the board for um, amending the resolution. I think it's a big step forward to allowing for a successful return for all students, which was very um, important to our members. I also wanna make sure that the board wants to um, have a signed MOU before Thursday, which we do want to get back and negotiate and have an agreement to move forward. We're very willing and ready to do that. So thank you again. Okay, next up we have Jesse Redfield. Hello, um, so I'm Jesse Redfield. I'm a teacher at Petaluma High and I was a member of the Distance Learning Committee. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to you all for this possibility of the, the move to Thursday um, for the start. Um, teachers do have to prepare. I just wanna stress that, that our rooms are not prepared to have all of our students that though they are in session one or session two in person, they are not prepared for all of them to return at once. And so this additional time would really be a big help for, for us to get that organized and create a stable situation for our students, um, as well as our sites to prepare for the influx of students all coming in at once for safety checks and those kind of things. Um, so I'm pleased I don't have to, to really push heart, heartstrings on this one. Um, and I'm thankful that you guys are looking at Thursday and do know that it will be 
um, it'd be well used by the teachers to create uh, the stable and safe environments that our students will need to come back. So thank you. Okay, next up we have Todd Siders. Um, hello there. Uh, th thank you again for extending to Thursday. Um, I just wish that we could have resolved this yesterday at the table. Whatever reason the district couldn't agree last night did cause a great deal of stress that, as other members of the public have pointed out, have helped to create the idea that teachers are somehow the problem. Um, if we had followed shared decision making from the beginning, um, I think much stress on everybody could have been avoided. We're all tired. Look at us. Um, it's scary to think that the district would go against a signed MOU. And I want to echo the need for a revised MOU that district administration can actually buy into and support. And I'm hoping that this is uh, the uh, beginning of a, a new and productive relationship. Thank you. Okay, next up we have Becky Lofton. Hey guys, thank you for, for uh, letting me speak principal at San Antonio High School. And I would really like to advocate for alt ed students to have the possibility of returning on Monday for all four um, days. We've been back and forth with our parents a number of times. Yes, you can, no, you can't. Yes, you can, no, you can't. And thinking about the, the high risk students that we work with and the low numbers that we have, I think it would be really important to have our students welcomed back beginning on Monday rather than waiting till Thursday. And I hope that we can have that exception. Thanks. Okay, next up we have Cordy Sullivan. Hi, can you hear me? You can hear me? Okay, I just wanna echo the uh, some of the other parents here that uh, we support uh, the expanded in-person learning and it's been great for our daughter. I think this would be a good, uh, I, have, I actually have a lot of concerns about uh, what it's gonna look like in the fall. And uh, if we can't do this now, uh, I would say, uh, you know, we're gonna have trouble in the fall. So if we appreciate your support getting them back into school uh, four days a week. And that's all I have, thank you. Okay, next up we have Nancy Pitkin. Hi, I just wanna thank you for allowing us to have them come back on Thursday. So we have time to get our classrooms set up for 15 kids versus nine kids. Um, and I am looking forward to having those kids in, back in my classroom. So thank you very much. Okay, I think that's it for public comment. Can you confirm, yeah. Gary, that I got everything, yeah. yeah? So you have a motion on the table. Okay, I would like, I'm second. sorry, go ahead. I think you have a I motion you and a second. Oh no, that's right, just, to, just reminding you had a motion and, a, and, a, and I believe a second. Okay, um, I would like to further amend this to um, have the all ed students come back on Monday. Can I? Uh, I would second that. Go ahead, Sheldon. <laughs> Yeah, so good. We have a second on the amendment to, uh, and so I want to open that to con uh, for discussion, uh, and, and I'd like to hear from mm -hmm. our district um, folks. Uh, we uh, also maybe promote Becky as well yeah. to hear what type of yeah, communications. I want to understand this issue yeah. a little bit better. Thanks. Becky, I mean, we're going to put you on the spot and promote you while we're hearing from our district staff about that option. I'm happy to be put on the spot. What can I what can I share with you, Sheldon? Oh, I just, you know, uh, we <laughs> I thought, you know, we could start on Monday for everyone, but, you know, I, I've heard, uh, you know, a lot from a lot of folks and, and so, you know, I, I'm feeling that Thursday is a good compromise. This is the first I've heard of uh, singling out the alt ed sites. And so I kind of want to get a sense of where do your teachers stand on, on this and your parents and your, your, your kids and you and, and what's, 
you know, uh, the, the issues that we've heard uh, about the comprehensive high schools, you know, in, in terms of the need for time to prepare and those kinds of things, are those not issues at the all high schools or, or what? So first of all, my teachers really wanted to bring back all of the students that were interested in hybrid from day one. And that has to do with the fact that our numbers are very small and our school is small. So it's much easier to, to be flexible in things like that. And so um, that was what we initially wanted to do. But of course, that didn't meet with the stable groupings. The teachers are all in favor of having as many students as we can safely have in the classroom and they're ready for it. Their classrooms are all set up and prepared, but we have small numbers. So we still have a lot of kids that are doing distance learning. Um, I don't think that the impact is the same as it might be at the comprehensive site. And I also think it's important to recognize that once students heard that there would be the possibility of returning four days, many of our alt ed kids have reached out to ask if they could now come back. So the most that we're looking at in a classroom right now is 11 students. Most of our classes will have between four and, and eight students. And um, again, I think I also said in my comment, we initially told parents, yes, come back on Monday. And this was a week ago. And then I had to follow that up very quickly with a wait, we're not quite ready to do it. And then this email went out from the district saying that we were going to start again on Monday. So our parents are um, back and forth and back and forth. And I feel like we're going to start losing them and then we're going to lose our credibility with them. So because we have such a, an at-risk population and because we really need to have them on campus to help prepare them for the idea of coming back to school for next year, I really hope that you will consider an exemption for alt ed and let us start on Monday the way that we had initially planned. Does that answer all your questions, Sheldon? It does. I guess I want to follow up then with the district office on, you know, any implications of having the alt ed high school start first and, and what and particularly in, in, in acknowledging Becky's comment here, how the communications would work on this. <laughs> if we have two start dates for, um, you know, four days a week, uh, one for the comprehensives and the, the one for the alternative high schools. I'll leave that one for Matthew. Well, well, let me, let me jump in real quick. I'll, I'll use surface time. Um, so I have a communication ready to go pending whatever happens here. So I got a communication to staff first, followed up by communication to students and families. So whatever happens here, we'll get the word out, whether it's Monday or Thursday or both. Um, and then the, the only other thing I would add is, um, you know, we, we've heard obviously from, from staff about having that additional time. I don't know where um, all dead staff is on that. Um, so that's the only thing I don't know. I, I know what Becky's saying and, and what she's representing, but I, I don't, I don't think we've heard from any alt ed staff um, in the public. Yeah, that's, I guess yeah, that's the, 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 the alt ed, I don't know the alt ed staff position either. I mean, I hear, I'm here, I hear what Becky, Becky, I hear what you're saying. I, I'm not, um, it's not that I don't trust what you're saying. I just don't know. All that hasn't been part of the conversation in, at the negotiations table this, this whole week. So I can't, I can't really speak for them. That's that was what I was about to ask Matthew was what does that mean for the MOU and the negotiations with PFT because they're part of the union too and uh, to start them on Monday without that finalized is that um, what do you think? It, it's um, it would be cleaner to do it to have be able to have the conversation all together. I, I don't think you know to Becky's point. I think that they're my understanding and I don't have first this is, this is not first-hand knowledge but it's second-hand knowledge that um there are they've I know they've been working together as a staff and have created this and we're sort of ready to go before everyone else so um but I as far as putting an a, a MOU together it would be it would be cleaner to be able to work on it on Monday and Matthew the MOU with PFT would cover would cover all high schools would it not yes I'm going to speak against this amendment. I'm sad to say I would love to bring uh, um, the Alden High School students back on Monday four days, but acknowledging the um, 
the uh, the way negotiations have gone this past week, and just hearing you know from the union le leadership just now about you know wanting to negotiate this in uh, starting Monday, I don't think we can. I don't think we can bring uh, some of the teachers back into four days first. I think it's really sad that we can't recognize some schools are different than others and students I, have different needs than others. So I, I'm sorry that, that you guys um, don't want to look at that separately. I understand what you're saying, but I just, I, I think it's really sad. Our students are really struggling. And I know all students are struggling, but we have that population that, that is so at risk and not having them in person is so detrimental to their, not only their well-being, their academic access, everything about food, everything. So, you know, whatever you all decide is of course what we'll go forward with, but I just really want you to know how disappointed I am that- I hear you. I do hear you, Becky. So we have, so I'm not entirely um, sure what we, we have handle to do. This. We, have dual, we have two motions. Oh, no, the, we, we, the motion on the table is, uh, is we need to vote, we need to call to question the uh, um, uh, changing item 7.1.1 to uh, exempt or to, to keep the alt ed high schools start to four days a week as Monday, May 10th. That's what's uh, on the table right now. Okay. So are you making a motion? No, it's already on the motion. Oh, it's already on the table. You made okay. the motion and I We can vote, we can call the, call the question okay. now. So let's go ahead and take a vote all in favor. Oh wait, are what are we voting on? Are we voting on taking it out now or keeping no, no, it no. in? No, the, the motion on the table is to change <laughs> The, the May 13th um, uh, start to four days a week to be to exempt alt ed so that they can start on May 10th. So if you want to exempt them, it's a yes, it's an I. If you don't want to exempt them, it's either an, it's a no. Okay. Are you guys ready to take a vote on that? <sighs> Wait, so exempting them from the May 13th is a I. Mm -hmm. And then, right. okay, okay. So are we ready to vote or do we need more discussion? Uh, I just torn because I want what's best for students, but I want to respect the union so much. Um, but I also want to trust the staff that I've heard from um, at the alt ed sites that are working so closely with these students and families. So I'm, I'm really, really torn. I don't know. So are we voting on this first and then voting yeah. on changing the May 13th? Okay. Are we ready to vote on this part? I'm just gonna ask. <laughs> okay, so all in favor? I'm gonna say yes. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Okay. So then Ellen is not here. So who's our tiebreaker? Gary? Nope. No. no. Oh, what's that mean? I can't vote. Oh. No, I mean, so it dies. Okay, he can't motion. Yeah. Motion dies. Oh. So now you're back at at um, 13th. But you. Okay. But I don't think you 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 approved that. Did you? No, we haven't. No. We were just voting on the all yeah. ed. Right. Now you need another, you're going to need so, to. So, so now what's on the table <laughs> is everyone goes to four days a week on May 13th. Okay. And who was the one that, that made the initial motion? I, I made the motion. And who seconded it? Caitlin. I just want to make sure I get this yeah. right. Yeah. Caitlin. Yeah. I'm sorry. Are we... Caitlin. 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 Okay. Sheldon, Caitlin. Always. Are we ready to vote on this, or do you guys have more discussion, uh, questions, anything about this one, about item 7.1.1? I just want to, um, um, 
I think that uh, all the people that commented, it impacted my decision. Yeah. I wanna thank and appreciate everyone that's been dealing with all of the negotiations. Um, I know it's hard. I know it's the last thing we wanna do a month out. Um, but, and I, I wanna recognize how hard it is for teachers, even if we were anticipating this change, it still is that extra work. Um, but I think that the benefit to students is just so, so worth it. Okay. Yeah. Ready to, oh, go ahead. Well, I guess I just want to say that um, I was against this move. Um, you know, uh, for a lot of variety of reasons. So to hear uh, that the Thursday amendment um, really helped me come to terms with this decision. And to hear that uh, PFT and various teachers uh, um, are in favor of that and want to move forward has impacted my decision. Okay, and we do have a late comment. Um, Sumaya, who was uh, gone, Caitlin informed me that she's back in. So we're going to give her her two and a half minutes of public comment. Dave, can you um, promote her? She's there. Oh. Yep. Okay, go ahead. Can you can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, and thank you for seeing the email that I was trying to email in and then. Uh, getting me on here. Um, I know I've kind of been a, a thorn in this board's side here, but I, I really want to just stress that these children, including my own, have seen such a difference being in front of their teachers. The, the morale is up. The interest is up. The grades make such a difference. Um, I have one that is in Petaluma High School. And let me tell you, it doesn't matter which school they in, they need to be in front of those teachers, the teachers and, and these children bond together, being one right there with each other. And that makes such a difference in their lives. And this is in your guys's hands for all of these children, no matter what age they are from 18 and down, this is your decision in your hands. And I hope to God that you guys don't take this lightly. And I've known Joanna for such a long time now. Um, and right now we may not get along, but I believe that she is going to make a good choice for these kids. And I, I really do believe the person that she is inside is a great person and is going to make a, a choice that's going to really benefit these kids and I hope this board can take her example in, in, the, in the sense that these kids have to be put first. Any, any agreement that has been made after the school year, those MAOs, that is basically null and void at this point. These kids have to come first. Those aren't even legal. These teachers are willing to put in the work with these kids because they need it. They're so far behind. Let's just get them these last month done with them. Let's get them into the summer school. Let's get them the education they need. Let's get them the help that they want, that they're begging for. Where are their leaders right now? We need to come together and- You have really about 15 them. seconds left, Sumaya. And I really hope that no matter what happens at this vote, that you guys put that first and foremost in your brains, that these children are begging you for it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you guys for that um, interruption to our uh, schedule or to our discussion. Um, we just wanted to give everyone a chance to speak. So thank you, Caitlin, for letting me know. Um, so are we ready to vote on this? Or do you guys have any more questions or comments? Ready. Okay. All right. So all in favor of the amendment of the Thursday return four days a week? Aye. Aye. 
opposed okay so that is it um we have no actions to report out of closed session and we are going to adjourn until tuesday at five o'clock or five fifteen all right thank you enjoy thank your weekends happy mother's day happy mother's day, day to all happy the mothers. mother's day you guys are our heroes